What is going on you guys? Welcome to yet another gear unboxing video. If you watched my last one, it was for my DJI Air 2S drone. And today I'm gonna to be unboxing a really, really exciting light. So the vast majority of lighting equipment that I currently own is primarily for video production. I use it for photo production every now and then, but it's just not bright enough to do true photography with it, in my opinion, at least definitely not outdoors. And since I've been having a lot of interest in my photography services, both for architectural base work, product work, and also portrait work, I was like, you know what? It's about time I pull the trigger and just get a photo light. And that's what leads us here to unboxing my brand new light. And here's the beast. Oh. Holy crap. It's a bit of a hunker, I'm not gonna lie. It definitely comes in a much larger backpack than I expected. I guess I didn't pay attention much to the dimensional specs of this, but I'm really excited about this specific light because I bought it with a kit to where it comes with a backpack. It also comes with the camera trigger. So that's the piece that'll sit on my photo camera and actually trigger the light. It also comes with a softbox, similar to what I'm using for my key light right here, just a smaller one. It also comes with a couple of color filters. That way I can change the actual color of the light that I'm using. But for the most part, I'm probably going to stick to either a warm or a cool light. And with that said, let's get into it. All right. We go. All right, so there it is. Here is the backpack that it comes with, which by the way, I was super stoked when I pulled this out of the box, I realized that it's actually much higher quality than I anticipated, which like most of the times you buy a kit item or something that comes with a backpack, usually they are pretty cheap on the bags. At least from the outside, this thing seems pretty dang high quality. So I'm very, very excited to check it out and actually check out what's on the inside because this right here could potentially replace my actual camera bag. I mean, considering how much space it has, which is definitely more than my current camera bag. All right, I'm gonna try my best to fit this in the frame while still sitting down. So uh, let's just open it up from the side like this. And just like any unboxing, trusty knife, you know, makes all the difference. Problem solved. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so this is not this is not a compartment that actually has the light, but I'm already super excited about this design. Okay, so on the inside of this first compartment, this is where you can stick your laptop. You also have an extra flap right here. So two laptops, I guess, or one for a notebook, the other for a laptop, and then just a bunch of extra space, maybe for a little bit of slim clothes or just different things that would fit in more of a slim setting. So let's check out the next compartment. All right, it's a, it's a tall bag, man. I gotta stand every now and then. Okay, let's loosen this guy up a little bit just for the time being so they're not sitting in the way and get into our main compartment. It's more of a cube based structure on the inside, very similar to most camera backpacks. So it really makes me think I could fit a lot of cameras and other equipment in here because I really only have the one strobe light. This is intended for two. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is a bit of a full house here. This all actually takes up a lot more space than I was anticipating, I'm not gonna lie. Let me see if I can show you guys what's in here without dumping everything out. What we have so far, this seems to be our soft box, which by the way, it's the same Bowens mount that my aperture lights use, which is great for me because this little soft box, I can also use on my other video light if I need two softened lights, which is great. And I've been honestly wanting another soft box. So this just helps me out with that. So by the way, I don't think I mentioned this prior. This is the backpack kit. So it comes with your primary light, of course. It also comes with your main trigger and that's what sits on the camera and actually activates the flash. You also get this soft box, which is Bowen's mount, just like any aperture light. And you also get your color filters. I think that's all the main things. But regardless, let's start pulling some of this stuff out so we can actually take a closer look. Okay, so we are starting things off with the actual light itself. Let's open up this package. Okay, and there we go. There is the beast itself. Look at that. It's an absolutely insane flash. Now I'm so stoked about this too because it comes battery powered. This is not a constant power light. You can constant power and actually it will charge actively as you use it, which is super, super useful if you're doing indoor shoots. 
But if you're doing outdoor shoots, all you have to do, slap on your battery, you're ready to go. And that's something that I also love about my aperture lights. The difference being, again, they're video lights, but they're powered by bigger batteries that I currently don't own any of, like V-mount batteries. Those are the same batteries that you'd find on like a RED camera. And since I'm not operating RED cameras, I don't own any of those batteries. Oh, that's the best part of any unboxing, let's be real. And the battery that comes with this light is actually pretty beefy. At least from what I've read, I believe it's anywhere from three to 400 full power flashes before you need to recharge your battery. And again, if you're using it indoors, you can constant power the light while also charging it. So if you have a battery, I believe it's above 20% or 25% charge, it will actively work and it will charge. So that's a really cool feature. All right, so there we go. We've got the actual light itself. Let's check the next piece. So this is our little bracket that will connect with a Bowens mount to our light itself. And then on the front here, that's where you'll connect your soft box. Ooh. Man, that is one hefty battery. Easily the biggest battery I currently have for any piece of equipment. And it comes just over halfway charged. Thank you, Westcott. And then right here we have our power adapter slash charger slash constant power. So very cool, there it is. Ah the trigger itself. Okay, so this is for our trigger. We have what appears to be the actual trigger and they did not include the wall plug. All they included was the cable. So that's kind of weird, kind of cheap, but whatever. I'm not gonna lie, this, uh, this trigger looks used. Not very impressed with the quality on the trigger itself, but I mean, I guess you just gotta keep that piece safe on the camera. So don't drop it because it will break for sure. <laughs> and now we have our soft box. All right, there we go. So that guy will press in and then you'll connect. There we go. And uh, yeah, that is our new soft box. Super cool. Look, I'm already reflecting light on myself. Okay, that's not how it's intended to be used, but you know, you get it, you get the point. Of course your soft filter, that will go inside of there. And then just a quick start guide and all that. Okay, last item here, we have our little little box of color filters. So I'm not sure if they magnetize or if they clamp on somehow, but this right here you put in front of your light and it'll change the color. So first and foremost, what is this light for? Why did I get it? So I think I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but I've been getting a lot of inquiries about architectural work as well as product work and also portraits outside or at least away from my own personal location. And a lot of times my video lights just don't cut it for photography. They're not as bright because they're constant powered unlike this light, which actually exudes a lot of light. And so you might be wondering like, why did you get this massive light versus just a speed light or something smaller, more compact, you could fit it inside your current camera bag. When I do work in real estate and architecture, most of the homes are much larger, at least the rooms themselves are much bigger. And so it's harder to get the same effect with a speed light that's much smaller and doesn't put out as much light. So I wanted something that was a bit of a beast. And the price point for this thing, the light itself runs for, I believe $550, but with all the accessories and everything else that you see here, it was about $850 before tax. And for me, this investment was more than worth it. I plan on doing a lot more work in the future with resorts and venues and much larger spaces. And so having a light that's accommodated for that type of workflow is going to make my job that much easier. I'm gonna be much less stressed because I know I have the equipment I need for that specific job. And just in general, actually having a legit photo light is gonna help me learn so many more techniques about how to use a flash in the outdoors, which is something I really want to experiment with. It's something I've never really done before. I've always worked with natural light or bouncing light or just any way of reflecting natural light. So actually having a controlled light that I can use in outdoor situations is gonna be really, really fun. It's gonna be a great learning curve for me. And that's pretty much it, you guys. And by the way, just a disclaimer, I was not sent this light and I was not paid by Westcott or anybody else. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, I bought this light myself and I intend on using it. I watched a lot of reviews on this specific light, fell in love with it and thought, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a shot. So here it is. But with that said, I am going to link this light and this kit below. So if you have any interest in checking it out, by all means, follow those links, go check it out. And if you get one, I hope you enjoy it. I'm definitely going to enjoy putting this thing to the test. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing. If you do like these style of videos, by all means, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be posting a lot more. And don't forget to drop a like too. It just encourages me more to make these style of videos and ultimately put more work into them. And last but not least, I just wanna give another special thanks to everyone that has supported this channel in the past. I gained like 
30 subscribers from the first review video that I did, which for me, a channel with two subscribers going to like 30, 40, whatever it is now, that's pretty exciting. And I'm really excited to see the further growth of this channel as I post more videos like it. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Woo.